Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We are on April 11th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, extreme weather from around the world, and disaster alerts. Starting out here, looking at our sun. Departing sunspot got very active, kind of a spastic uh, plasma loop right afterwards. Just looking here, 304 angstroms. Also watching a tiny sunspot region coming in, but it looks like there's more activity coming in behind that as well. But that's pretty much it. There are no coronal holes to talk about. We have an incoming baby sunspot and an outgoing fiery sunspot. Here we're able to see the coronal holes, whether or not they're building, and it doesn't seem to be worrisome. There's a small coronal hole equatorial building right now, actually in the last few images. Just having another look here. at the departing sunspot. Amazing images coming out of Sol Solar Dynamics Observatory. Have a quick look here at our magnetospheric plot map. Watching the solar wind affecting our magnetosphere. Again, I want to thank all of my new family members to Morning Dew, Daily Events Worldwide, where I post my severe weather analysis, disaster alerts from around the world, studying space weather, our planetary weather. Having a look here, this is the Lasco 2 image. Not showing any major flares or eruptions. Looking here, real real time solar data as we are sitting at about 414 kilometers per second, seeing a small increase. Let's get to earthquakes here in the last 24 hours. It's been pretty busy. Those in California, thoughts and prayers. You guys are shaking this morning. A little bit worrisome when we've got this many earthquakes after a 5.3 went off in California. Bodie, California. So you've got the Earthquake Swarm Dominican, Earthquake Swarm California. Overlooking Japan today is there is a pretty sizable 5.1 here in Shimode, Japan. And as well, Shishijima, 10 kilometer depth, 5.2. And that was late last night. Also Indonesia, 4.4, late last night, early this morning. 5.0 here in Greece. As well, 4.6 Indian Plate. That was yesterday's earthquake. Sorry about that. And as well here, 4.8 Argentina. That was today. Deepest earthquake last 24 hours. 4.6 here. 387 kilometer depth in Fiji. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes. Still looking at a lot of deep earthquakes around the planet right now. South America, Fiji, and then North American Plate. All these shallow quakes, they're starting to get deeper. You can see there. But all this deep movement in Fiji, Papua New Guinea, moving westward into Indonesia, the Philippines Plate. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here. Look at the most recent updated volcanoes. Popo in Mexico, quite an eruption. You can look for a video on YouTube of that as well. Fuego, two pretty sizable eruptions. Kluchevskoy, uh, Sebenkaya in Peru. Dakono in Indonesia. Fuego, Guatemala. Krakatoa, Indonesia, still going off. It's a pretty sizable eruption yesterday. Wow, 40,000 foot cloud. Era in Japan. 
So that's about nine volcanoes that have been updated in the last four hours. Also watching that deep Pacific low pressure system that is affecting Southern California. Still just spinning, locked in there. And we're already seeing some thunderstorms and extreme weather through Texas. And over the next 48 hours to 72 hours, watch for an extreme weather event all across southeastern United States, as I have been talking about for the last few days. I put out a pretty big video about a possible superstorm. Well, it's uh, playing out to be that way right now, five day forecast. Overlooking South America, they've got some pretty intense storms, flash flooding in Peru. And it's very dry through south of South America through Argentina. But watch for things to drastically change here in the five day forecast. As we're still watching some very large low pressure systems tumble around the southern hemisphere. Huge high pressure ridge building in north of South America. Five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting here, home base, Calgary, Alberta. Late week snowstorm coming through. That's right. We just got about five centimeters last night and it's pretty chilly today. Things are going to warm up, but then get cold again. And then here is a look at that monster possible superstorm that is going to be heading across the United States and up into Canada, Atlantic provinces, Quebec receiving a blizzard. That's right. Here in Alberta, we'll probably get about five to 10 centimeters Monday into Tuesday, or no, Tuesday into Wednesday, overlooking Europe, huge low pressure system and winter storm for parts of Finland, moving eastward to Russia, high pressure ridge locked in over the UK and most of Central Europe. Some nice spring weather. But still watching these large low pressure systems spinning around the northern hemisphere as well. Doesn't seem to be anything taming these things. They're getting bigger and stronger. Just look at this in the Pacific. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Well, we do have an extreme weather event heading into Japan later in the week as well as a possible typhoon forms and will affect the coastlines and inland. Also watching a tropical cyclone forming here in the Indian Ocean, heading west. Going to be keeping an eye on that. Heavy rains through Zimbabwe, Mozambique, and up into Uganda. Thoughts and prayers to everybody there. There are going to be some pretty heavy rains moving in coastal regions, South Africa. South America, as I was talking about earlier, quite a system moving in later in the week for Bolivia, Argentina, moving up into Paraguay. And then look at this system off the coastline, Buenos Aires. And then this is Tropical Cyclone Herald, believe it or not, still alive. And then it will be smashing into Argentina later in the week. Five day forecast. So some intense weather around the southern tip of South America. So watch for an increase in seismicity over the next few days. Across New Zealand, watch for quite a system to vigorously and quickly move and form across New Zealand. Australia, dry, seasonable conditions. A little bit cooler as I've been talking about in the southeastern parts. We leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern hemisphere thank you so much for watching today if you enjoyed today's video please hit that like button get in the comment section say hi let me know where you're from so we can get you on this map again stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning due bye bye
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.